my name is Jack Fox Keen. My pronouns are they, them, and I am a data scientist at The Guardian Project. So The Guardian Project is a collective of hackers, developers, artists, activists, community leaders, um, all kinds of different people who are concerned about human rights and digital justice. Um, so Guardian Project has been around for, I believe, over 20 years at this point. And um, we've basically made a variety of different applications for smartphones to preserve privacy and protect identity, to enable um, and allow activists and humanitarians and journalists do the work that they need to do in order to uh, make the world a better place. Proof Mode is one of the applications that Guardian Project makes. Um, it is a smartphone tool, an open source free smartphone tool that allows uh, people to take verifiable photos. So the way that Proof Mode uh, creates verifiable photos is by using a combination of hashes, digital signatures, and third party notaries um, uh, when taking the photo um, so that people can verify, um, for example, with the hash of the image, um, Proof Mode will actually take a hash of the image at the time of capture. Um, and then that allow, and, and that also includes the EXIF data in the image. Um, and then that allows uh, a user to, or a person, to send that uh, photo to uh, somebody, or even just send the hash to somebody and say like, hey, like I have this photo, and here's the hash that matches it. Um, and then we also use digital signatures um, to tie the hashed photo with our proof mode metadata. So um, the proof mode metadata includes uh, sensor data, such as um, uh, GPS location, uh, cell tower data, Wi-Fi network data, um, altitude. Um, the important thing too, though, is that users have full autonomy over which data is collected. So it doesn't have to, if you don't want your GPS location data included in this metadata, you can unselect that. You don't have to include that. Um, if you don't want the cell tower data um, collected, you don't have to select that. There's a whole range of settings that you can easily select and deselect or do any combination of whichever settings you want. Um, because in human rights, what, you know, there's kind of this twofold uh, uh, problem, which is that human rights activists need evidence and data to prove that something happened. And at the same time, gathering that evidence and data also puts themselves at risk for being identified um, in, in activism and especially in, you know, authoritarian governments or, you know, um, you, you, so you just, you become, uh, your, their concern for privacy is very, very important um, because you might be punished for trying to shed light on the truth. It's all kind of combined into one smartphone application um, that allows people to uh, capture images that can actually be verified later on. We use third party notaries, for example, um, like Google Safety Check and uh, Apple's Device Check to ensure that the hardware on your phone has not been uh, manipulated. Um, and then we also, Proof Mode itself acts as a, a notary, which ensures that the software, the Proof Mode software on your phone has not been manipulated. Um, so we use this, you know, this combination of all these tools to allow people uh, different ways to prove that um, the photo that they have, that the photo that they took is the photo that they saw.